Hello everyone, and today I'm joining with Dimsy's Domain. Please introduce yourself. Yo, what's good? Let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh 6. So, first of all, Dimsy on this channel is going to be posting his thoughts on the new way of dueling. And on my channel, we're going to be talking about the character, his analysis. Now, we got a sort of, sort of, small brief and like bio on Yusaku. He's a 16-year-old boy. He goes to high school. The show's theme is about taking a step forward and trying. And the premise is the kid is trying to stand out and not give up. And the first try he's doing that is overwhelmed by information. Yusaku is a boy who doesn't like standing out and particularly doesn't stand out in school. However, he gets drawn into encounters with people as he tries dueling for once. See, look, let, let me just jump in right there. What that is, is that's more so a reflection of Japanese culture. With Japanese culture, because I know due to the fact that I've been getting these comments countless on my Digimon videos, it's very similar to Joe from Digimon Adventure Try who is struggling with school and or he has a lot of information that he has to deal with. So it looks like Yusaku has a lot of information and he has a lot of stress and it's more so him finding his place, his role in society, it's him discovering his identity. So far he's comfortable with his identity of being anonymous or being looked over, being you know he's not the center of attention and he's more than happy to be just you know the other guy and i believe that through dueling he's going to be people are going to start noticing him like hey yusaku can do you know and that's one theme which they're going to really really spearhead in that sense it's just a reflection of japanese culture in terms of how hard the school is just in asian culture in general i'm sure you've seen it throughout throughout other uh, anime as well as the stereotypes of hey this guy's Asian he's good at maths etc blah 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 the expectation is probably on his shoulders and with that expectation he really goes unnoticed and undetected through the radar this is what I honestly think I think that the show is gonna out of all the out of any of the Yu-Gi-Oh series it's gonna focus so much on this character getting developed yeah like I think the first arc of the show or not even that the first five episodes is he's gonna constantly mess up he's gonna constantly get bullied or whatever and he's gonna learn throughout the way of dueling and that's gonna be his sort of way of not escaping the world but facing the world see the thing about bullying i i have a weird feeling that firstly he's 16 and just from the look of his character he looks very he doesn't but that, that, that might be promotional because the thing is i was looking at this guy, I was like, yeah, this guy looks serious he looks like someone not to mess with but then we get the bio so i feel like that's gonna be his initial design I agree. After, after the bullying, after whatever occurs. But e even in that design, he doesn't look like a complete badass like you say. Nor does he look like a very fragile, timid character, which, you know, you might see in a stereotypical anime character who gets bullied. What he looks like is he just looks very determined to find something. Now, he's a proper average Joe from, from the description and just his facial expression. I believe that he, he just stamps his identity and people start taking notice purely because of his dueling capabilities and regarding his dueling capabilities it seems like he's learning how to duel i don't know if he's bad at dueling or good at dueling that's something to look out for would he be good from the onset or no, bad I, from the onset i think the bio says he tries out dueling for one so he's going to be just this is what's going to happen right he's probably going to be one of those people that like try out dueling for the first time and is just a prodigy at it and then from school he gets a recognition of wow he just beat the top person in our school see and then from now it's going to bounce off and then he's just going to become like a pro and then uh, whatever the first arc might be a tournament see that something I, based around that i think i think that's very plausible and that's probably the most likely scenario but another route they could go is that him trying dueling for once is actually him just trying dueling to socialize him tr trying dueling to take a step forward and just try to be someone so there could be two aspects him starting out dueling or him using dueling as a platform to get known to be more happy and also form a bigger social network a, a bigger friend group we that's the main that's the absolute main thing to watch out for who the hell are his friends going to be? How are they going to look like? Are they going to be losers? Is he going to sit with the loser table? Is he going to sit with just a bunch of normal people? Or is he going to be amongst the cool people, but he doesn't fit in amongst the cool people? And that would be really damn interesting. 
really really interesting like from the from the character bio that we got i feel like i'm getting like yugi vibes for some odd reason like yugi starts off as a weak person but he, this person m most likely doesn't have an alter ego i guarantee you he doesn't have an alter ego very similar to uh, yusei isn't it yeah yeah like a mixture of use he's just a mixture of all the protagonists in terms of hair as well Mm. But he, he comes out like from the bio. It's like taking a step forward and try like I feel like he's an optimistic person Like he's gonna try out new things. Well, let's talk about optimism What does his name actually translate to now his name translates to it's to become a wiser tree journey to becoming a wiser tree So we have the word journey there and tree trees are known to be as the the, the pillars of earth in terms of how they sustain life encourage life and also they're able to enclosed life within itself so trees are very much alive but at the same time very much structural beings within earth so they're very very necessary when you have journey that's of course self-explanatory where it's a as you said it's going to be the series for character development for that one specific character because look as much as we love yugi and Yami, they were essentially very bland in comparison and relative to the other characters whereas even yusei was bland to an extent heck all of them were bland let's hope that this one has a touch of flair a touch of color to it but the journey to be a wiser tree why the word why did they use the word wiser well the word wiser is a very very mm, peculiar choice because of the fact that wiser is normally the word wiser is relatable to older people so is this going to be spanning over a bunch of years as he slowly gains his experiences Remember this, this is the second oldest protagonist we've got since Yusei who was 17 at the time and we see... We I see, think y Yugi was tied with him, Yugi was like 16 at the start of I believe Yugi was 15, I'm not completely sure. 15 or 16, Yeah, but Atem's the oldest. Atem, yeah, Atem is the oldest By at a five, long shot. At 5,000 years old from the manga. <laughs> Yugi at 20, many. combining all the protagonist's age, he's still, they're still not going to catch up. Exactly, but I think that Yusaku, they're going to really play on the whole school gimmick because personally, in arc v firstly the school aspect of it was very poorly executed from what i've seen so far and with gx they had something so great and i, I really liked it it's like a rivalry between schools however we never really got a proper school yeah, setting of them they, developing through school this is this is what they did wrong in gx the first season was a lot a like, lot based around school like they went to class and stuff and they dueled people inside the school but what they didn't do right, in my opinion, is that I want this plot to be at least school-based for like the first season or the, for the first main arc, and then it sort of canoes out of there. I feel like the problems that the problems start at school, and then once it gets more progressed and we see all the characters sort of develop, yeah, then they then they go to the real world. Look, because that's what they did with like Yu-Gi-Oh, like for example, like the early mangas. It was more based around school, and then once we got the characters, once the plot was sort of switched, and then it started to unravel and go other places. It's like very similar. Look, I know a lot of you subscribers right there are massive fans of other anime, and I'm gonna say one anime, and I'm sure it's gonna resonate with a lot of you. Cold Gears. Yes, Cold Gears. It was about this character, this very complex character, and it was focusing on his character development. But one thing that was very evident was when they went to the school setting, they very much focus on the actual school aspect of things. So I want whatever's happening in the background when Yusaku goes back to school, he is dealing with school. I want this to be like something like, look, I hate slice of life. I hate things which are not serious. I am very much a you know, a... I'm the opposite. I like slice of life. Slice of life is boring. I like blood. I like action. I like death. I like <laughs> mystery. I like <laughs> insanity. The thing is, I want Yusaku to actually exhibit characteristics whereby he's trying to fit in. He's trying to, let's say, join a club. He's trying to do this some sort, do a project which involves other people. I want him to try and find his place within society. And that's exactly what... It's a journey, isn't it? It's a journey, and that kind of sums up his character to the absolute T. His, his actual meaning for his name, Journey to be a Wiser Tree, sums it all up. But the thing that makes me kind of puzzled is who's going to help him along that journey? And no, I'm not talking about his, I'm not talking about his friends. I'm talking about is there going to be someone who's older and wiser who's going to guide him to be that wiser tree? I don't know, this sort of reminds me of like Hajime and Ippo. Yeah. So, like, Ippo gets bullied, right? And then he sees Takamura punching a tree. 
And then he starts replicating, and he has to, like, get 10 leaves. And then he starts training with Takamura. And then, like, a few months, a few episodes later, I'm pretty sure he picks, he or probably later on in the episode, he beats up the bullies. See, so, yeah. so I feel like there's, in our predictions video, I feel like there's gonna be some sort of mentor. Maybe the school has, like, a dueling teacher where they learn how to duel. Well, here's one thing, yeah. Here's a question for everyone down in the comment section. Do you believe that this character is going to be bullied? Or do you think this character is going to just find his way? He's going to be lost and he's going to be lost at sea, drifting around without no aim, without no sail. He just goes wherever he's, you know, give, he, go, he goes with the flow. He just goes with the flow and how will he, how will they exhibit tension in his life? How, that's one interesting thing. We'll talk about the antagonist when more news comes out. Because make sure you subscribe to BYJ Igami and myself because... I promise you this, if there is something interesting and if you comment down below and it's interesting and you want to see it, we will for sure make a video on it because this is explosive news and just looking at the hoverboard dueling system which I'm going to be covering on my channel is Link down below. is going to be extremely, extremely tantalizing to watch to see how they execute it. So anyway guys, that's just my thoughts. That's my thoughts on that. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.